Hello peeps. Uh, it's about 1 a.m. But uh, I kind of wanted to make a video. Um, I'm going to start with talking a little bit about me tweeting with somebody about Niagara. And after that me and Shadowriff are going to try and see if we can get Niagara to work. It's probably going to be very old, uh, very broken state. But we'll see if we can get it to work. Anyways, as you can see on the screen, I was really eager to to play around with Niagara and I tweeted I want Niagara obviously Alexander replied with oh yeah when it comes out it's gonna be magic to which I told you shouldn't flirt with me Alex I can be very intense and Alex I've seen things I can talk about but let me tell you I wish I could <laughs> take me now to have his work on Niagara and Alexander then said that's gonna be Olaf Pichet sorry if I don't pronounce your last name right and Pisha says uh, we are hard at work getting it production ready maybe I can find it in myself to post a tiny teaser soon to which I said teasing is pleasant but please go all the way okay this innuendo is getting out of hand and Sai Narayan asked any estimates on when it might roll out 4.70 maybe please tell me you guys made events easier to do Niagara to which I replied, I hope everything is easier, more versatile and comes with more options, kind of wish I was a beta tester. And Olaf said, I think you'll be pleased. Power and flexibility are not just in a different ballpark as before, it's a whole different city. And that alone is, for me, mind-boggling. I mean, I know it's going to be note-based and I know there's going to be a lot more versatility. I mean, I've been using UDK since, uh, Cascade since UDK and a little bit of Round Tournament 3 whenever I had time to play around with it so it totally changing I think it will be so bizarrely powerful I have basically no comprehension on how powerful but me and Olaf started talking a little bit more and uh, well I said teasing is pleasing but please, please go all the way etc if you haven't been there and uh, <laughs> Gladpoo says oh man I want to waste all my free time to start playing with it I can has give it to me and Olaf goes, patience, it will be worth it. I like it when Olaf talks dirty. Oh, on that note, we're getting some really awesome UI and workflow features online as well. The future is bright. So, to which I reply, for the love of anything that's not the regular sprite emitter though, please give me a race for meshes and make ribbons beams work way better. Personally, I don't really like using ribbons and beams because they tend to break quite a bit. And if your FPS is low and you have a lot going on they might not get the results you always want and you can tell that they are getting outdated so Olaf which you probably already have I'm gonna repeat anyway he says I'm in the middle of rewriting uh, of rendering code to make it fast we'll look into mesh rates also GPU sim for mesh and ribbons is a thing now this will make everything so much better really I cannot wait so obviously me is going mm, senpai please more by the way, will there be a way for sprites to properly work in VR? Because I, anybody who's working with VR can tell that sprites are not really working well. And obviously he says, sprites always have limitations of being flat cards, which is visible in VR due to parallax between eyes. I've got a few ideas for remedies, which is very interesting because being able to use regular sprites again might, besides some performance things, give a lot more versatility in VR. I'm personally, I haven't done much with it, just a few little things. But I'm still scared using VR because everything, it's a whole different ballpark and getting some of the old features back it might, might personally help me feel more com com uh, comfortable in VR particle stuff. Uh, all of them says custom programmable alignment of sprites will help su substantially with those cases. And then I asked, can we get you on a stream one day? Uh, I wouldn't. It will probably be me and D. James, who's also a particle guy, and obviously a lot more of you people. Bombarding you with questions though, keep up the good work. That will most certainly happen. So maybe one day in the future he'll be on an epic stream. That would be really cool. I'm for sure going to take that day off and prepare any questions that I can come up with. So if I know more about him being on the stream, I'll definitely even make a post about it because Niagara is something I've been anticipating for so many years I it's one of the most exciting things in the range of 4 that I can think of because I am so, such a particle fan that kind of stuff 
But yeah, okay, this was the very, very personal thing. I've actually never done it like this before, I think, but this felt like something I wanted to do. Um, and after this, I'm going to talk with Shadow River, who has found a way to get the old Niagara that's still in the code working. And I'm going to record that. So you will probably hear my Polish friend Shadow River scream at me whenever I do something wrong or whatever, but he's a really cool guy and he recently got a dev grant because he's so helpful in the community. So yeah, definitely follow Shadow River on Twitter and maybe follow a lot of Pisha as well if you like particle stuff. Okay, so for this part Lewis out, but I'm gonna add the other video behind this one probably because it's all related. Anyways, next video.